I had dream about Mark. In that dream, I was sat down in big room. A lot of people in that big room. Everybody sat down. I saw a man mark the right hand of people. If he mark the person right hand, that person have to get up and go. I saw that a lot of people already they mark the right hand, they get up and go. But I don't know where they're going. And I saw that man come toward me. I'm quiet. I'm thinking I want to see if he mark my right hand. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome back to Cloud9 Blessings. It's so wonderful that you could join me here again. And I truly want to thank you for clicking on this video today. In today's video, we're going to be looking at two experiences that were emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Sarah. She has had some truly incredible experiences that she has shared with the channel, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what she has seen in these two. So I invite you to come with me on a journey as we explore into our sister in Christ's experiences. Let's go. Shalom. I would like to share my dream. I had dream August 13, 2024. In the dream, I saw horses line up in a row in front of me. The horses only have six or seven of them. Not too far from, from me, I saw the Every horse have the people sitting on the horse. All of them have the people sitting on the horse. And I saw of them, they are ready to go. And then I saw Bible in my right side. And I saw Bible is open up itself. And the from the Bible, come up the ladder flew in front of me big ladder the ladder is this now is the time very big the ladder in front of me say now is the time and i look at the ladder now is the time and i read again i read again the ladder now is the time and then I saw the, all the horses running fast, running very fast, all the horses. They said that my dream. And, and I asked God, what that mean, that dream? I asked Holy Spirit, what the meaning of the dream? God said, read the Bible. And I opened up my Bible. I read in Re Revelation, I cannot find the anything. And I find it in John 12, 31. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the judgment of this world is taking place. Now the ruler of this world will be thrown out. Judgment of God are coming. Now is the time. God judgment are coming in this world. God will throw out this world. We have to prepare my brother, my sister. But God say, do not fear. God will protect his children. God promised he never leave us nor forsake us. God say, for I, the Lord, you, God, will hold, hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. I will protect you. Do not fear, my child. 
that God say? We live in the last day right now. We have make right with God. Jesus, you're coming soon. I want to pray for the people not safe yet. Please repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are son of God. I believe you die and rose again. I believe you die in the cross for forgive my sin. I accept you now to be my God, my Lord, my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Now I am safe and born again. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless. I had dream about Mark. In that dream, I was sat down in big room. A lot of people in that big room. Everybody sat down. I saw a man mark the right hand of people. If he mark the person right hand, that person have to get up and go. I saw that a lot of people already they mark the right hand, they get up and go. But I don't know where they're going. And I saw that man come toward me. I'm quiet. I'm thinking I won't see if he mark my right hand. He not mark my right hand. He pass over me. Hallelujah. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. In the Bible say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And we believe in Jesus. We are child of God. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. What? Can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood. In the Revelation thirteen sixteen, He caused all, both small and great, rich and poor. Free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. Accepting Jesus to be your God, you will cover by the blood of Jesus. And you will be sealed by Holy Spirit. Accepting Jesus. Jesus coming soon. Wow, Sister Sarah, those two experiences were truly powerful and eye-opening. Oh, my goodness. Also, so very unique. And praise be to God that he's giving so many of these encouraging experiences to share. And for all of us to just stay focused on the Lord because he is coming so very soon. I loved how in your first experience, you talked about the horses and you saw people on those white horses that we're going. And that truly is all about the second coming because we know that when the Lord comes back, he will come back and put his foot on the Mount of Olives and we will be behind him on white horses. And that is going to be so, so incredible for us as believers because we will be behind the Lord and in his presence when he starts to take care of all that wickedness that has been on this world far too long. And then you shared some very interesting details. You shared about seeing in the sky after you saw horses charge as they were going. You saw those words appear in the sky. Now is the time. And as you said, the Holy Spirit guided you to look into the Bible. And when you did, you found the information about that, that now is the time because judgment is coming upon this earth. And I completely agree with you. The world is getting so very bad out there, brothers and sisters. As believers, we can sense it in our spirit, in our being. 
We see all the things happening around the world. We are seeing wars and rumors of wars, the famines, the plagues, the pestilences, the earthquakes in diverse places. And we know that these all are the beginning of sorrows. We're seeing all that start. It's going to get very bad, especially once the rapture happens and the wrath begins to get poured full force upon this earth. So when you were sharing those details and you talked about seeing the white horses that were charging and the Lord showed you those big, big letters, now is the time. I strongly believe that that is going to be happening at any moment. And then you shared in your second experience about the mark. And that is something that a lot of us have read in the Bible. We have read in scriptures about that coming and what is going to happen and what the implications are for those that take it. And you said that you saw people having the mark in the right hand and that they were beginning to have it done. And once they did, they were leaving that room. But you saw that gentleman go and pass you, went over you. And I do believe because you were meant there just to be given a glimpse to share the message that this is coming and to warn others. And it is going to be truly, truly terrible for those who get the mark because we know that those individuals will not be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that is why so many are sharing their dreams about the end times, about what is going to happen during the time of Jacob's trouble when all that wrath is being poured and what happens that leads all the way till we come back with the Lord in the air and he puts his foot down on the Mount of Olives. I know that that is something I am so looking forward to and I truly pray that all of you are as well because we will get to be with the Lord for an eternity and eternity is infinite with no end and praise be to God. We all truly need the Lord so much right now. Amen, brothers and sisters. So I truly want to thank you so much again, Sister Sarah, for sharing two more powerful experiences with the channel family. Please type in the comments box, we fly soon. Please type, we fly soon, because we are about to take flight and to be with the Lord in the sky and as he takes us to be with him for an eternity. I also want to take this time to truly thank all of you who have taken the time to watch this video today. Before I go ahead and end this video, I do want to go ahead and say a prayer for all of you who are watching this video today. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to pray for all of my brothers and sisters in Christ who are watching this video today. I ask that you please protect them and guide them in body, soul, and spirit, as well as give them the discernment and wisdom that they need in these end times. I am praying that their prayer requests will be answered, whether it be for the salvation of a loved one or a friend, for the lost for their family members, for those that are sick and need a healing, or for anything that they have made uh, clear to you in their prayer request, Heavenly Father. They are putting their faith and trust in you because we know that you died on the cross for our sins, that you were buried, and that you rose again on the third day according to the scriptures, as it says in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. I also want to continue praying for your homeland in Israel, for everyone who is in that land right now, whether they be a Jew or a Gentile, that you will protect them under your wings, as it says in Psalm 91, and keep them protected always, because we know that Israel is being surrounded by her enemies. Well, we know that you are in full control and that nothing is impossible through you, Heavenly Father because you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, and of course, the Prince of Peace. And we truly need your peace so much right now, Heavenly Father. And we are looking forward to that very moment when we will see you in the air and we can thank you and hug you and give you praise for what you have done for us. And I say this in your precious and holy name, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, thank you so much, brothers and sisters, for tuning into today's video. And until next time, may God bless you all and have a very blessed week.